you've made a great decision by choosing to watch this video everything we're going to talk about in this video is definitely going to transform your life for the better so like i say all the time you've made a, a wonderful decision by choosing to click this video and spend your time watching this video first of all who am i my name is emmanuel aka boogie welcome to my channel and i'm here to help people like you discover their purpose in life and wake up and make a name for themselves start a business you know do better in life live a more purposeful happier healthier life in general purposeful life that's all i'm here for and the things that i teach you are things that have helped me uh, graduate university study computer science start my own business um manifest things that i desire started in the slums now i'm in the suburbs things like that so i teach metaphysics i teach business i help people start businesses and i help people grow businesses from zero to six figures from six figures to seven figures seven figures and beyond so in this talk in this video we're going to be talking about something which is very beautiful which is very wonderful the only way to wealth in a capitalist system i want you to understand that we are in a capitalist system you have to accept it like you have to accept it we are in a capitalist system what is a capitalist system a capitalist system is a system of buying and selling people sell things if you don't sell something you're not going to make any money and if you don't work for somebody that's selling something you're not going to make any money that's the way the world is organized. Some countries have socialist systems and communist systems, but I'm not in China. I don't think you're in China. A lot of my viewers are not in China or North Korea or, you know, certain countries. Most of my viewers are in the United States and most of my viewers are in capitalist countries. So your problems are majorly because you're in a capitalist system. So we're going to talk about how you can make money how you can become wealthy in a capitalist system simple um let's get right into it what is wealth first of all we have to understand what wealth is because you can be rich and you can be wealthy right so what is wealth wealth means owning things like businesses houses or investments in my videos i like to keep things simple i don't like to use big words so that you don't get confused life is simple life is simple rich people keep it simple Rich people call, solve simple problems that human beings have. Making money means you're going to have to solve other people's problems. I say this in all my videos. Go watch my other videos. You're going to learn a lot. So wealth means owning things like businesses, houses, or investments. Why? Because those things make money over time and they keep growing and increasing in value. And they have people and brands that are, like people are attached to brands. So, you know, like Red Lobster. Red Lobster has been here for years. So they own a, a name now and they just sell out franchises and things like that, right? It's a franchise. Um, things like McDonald's franchise, you know? I don't think, I think Starbucks is still private, but there are different things that are franchise. But businesses, houses, and investments are the way to wealth, right? So what is rich? Rich versus wealthy. Being rich means you make a lot of money. Being wealthy means you own things that make more money over time. You understand? So... You can be making six figures, you're rich, you have, but you know, you're spending a lot of those of that money on your kids, your bills, things like that. So you're rich, but you're not wealthy. You can't walk away from the business and still make money. That's the difference. You can't walk away from your job and everything's going to be all right <laughs> unless you saved up for your whole salary or you don't have any kids, you don't have any dependents, you don't have anything, right? If you're a doctor or you're a high paying lawyer or something, you know? things like that but in reality a job you can be wealthy but you can be rich but you're not wealthy you can't walk away from your job you need your job to stay rich but what is capitalism capitalism is a system where people or businesses own things and make money by selling them or providing services like i explained earlier why ownership matters matters in capitalism people get wealthier when they own businesses homes or stocks because things can grow in value because things that grow in value over time and because you own something like a building it's not going anywhere so 10 years from now it's still going to be there and you own it so you can use it to create value for yourself if you own a business or a business is typically a system of people you own a system of people you can walk away from it it can still be there you can sell it to another person and 
own equity in it and equity means you still own a percentage of it and that person still pays you even though you're not the owner of the business anymore and they, the profits you get a percentage because you own something you don't really work there you don't have a job there you're not rich you're wealthy you own things and that's what i want to teach you i want to teach you how to be an owner because owning something is the only way you're going to escape the matrix it's the only way you're going to be free it's the only way you're going to learn how to use your most valuable asset your time your time your time is your most valuable asset if you don't have time to enjoy life if you don't have time to walk on work on your health if you don't have time to spend time with people you love what is a life worth living it's not worth living if you don't have time to spend it with the people you love spend it um working on your health on your mental health spend it however you want else you know time is our most valuable asset if you spend all your time working and sleeping and eating that's a basic life for me i don't think anybody really just wants to spend all their time working people that say i want to work I, 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 I love work i don't i don't know how you love work i think people like you know work it don't get me wrong work is good work is good but you know life is better <laughs> entrepreneurship <laughs> the path to wealth what is an entrepreneur entrepreneurs are people who start businesses simple entrepreneurs are people who start businesses and why entrepreneurs become wealth most millionaires 70 to 80 percent started businesses and became wealthy by owning them in the world 80% of the wealth belongs to entrepreneurs, people that started businesses. 80% of the wealth, it, be, it belongs to those people, not to people that have jobs, not to people that, obviously, <laughs> that don't own or sell anything. None of those people have wealth, but 80% of the wealth, 80% of the stocks, 80% of the houses, 80% of the businesses, are owned by entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurs own all the things we consume. The food, the restaurants, the clothes. It's a business. It's all business. Everything around you. Water, pen, mouse. Somebody sold all these things. Camera. It's all business. Everything in your room, you, bu you bought it. I can almost guarantee that everything in your room, you bought the chair I'm sitting on, bought. The house I'm in, bought. Part purchased or pay rent. You're paying for something anyway. So why not create something for people to pay you? It's that simple. It is that simple. It is that simple. Why not create something for people to pay you? Examples. There, there are billions of examples. I can't even. I don't even need to name examples for you because you know. You know the Elon Musk. You know even. There's, you know so many people that started businesses and are wealthy. Even if you, I even want to break that myth because it's not only billionaires that are wealthy. There are millionaires that are wealthy. I like to talk to my friend and say this. Every time I talk to some of my friends, I tell them, break me off with a nice, with a nice hundred million. I just might retire. Like hundred million is even high. With a nice 25, 25 mil. 30 to 30 to 50 mil i just might retire because i'm like what am i doing stressing it you know i'll just leave my business sell my business own equity keep it running things like that because i don't know why people are so excited to go into the billions and billions and billions you know maybe i might change my mind later if, if i fall in love with it i don't don't quote me but you know they're also wealthy millionaires so elon musk is not the only wealthy person like i said it's 80 percent 80% of wealth is owned by entrepreneurs and some of them walk by you on a daily basis They just don't you just don't know you just don't ask you just think everybody's like you are working a job. No, everybody's not like you People own stuff Ownership versus working Owning versus working workers and earn money for the time they work But owners make money from things they own like businesses or houses or stocks 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 are basically a percentage of businesses right so businesses or houses wealth comes from owning people who own things like a business or real estate make money than those who just work a paycheck ddg said something 
BDG said something in a video recently, like, the reason why you should have a job is to fund your business. And everybody started attacking him like he said something crazy. But he was trying to help y'all. He was trying to help people understand that every dollar you get, use it to start your own brand, your own business, your own service. Channel that money unless you like working. <laughs> unless you like working that shitty job that nobody wants to do. I don't know, like, I don't see the problem in that statement. I think he's trying to help you just like I'm trying to help you by giving you this information. Use all the money you get from your job and start a business. If you need help starting a business, click the link in the description. Bees Digital Marketing, that's what I do for people. I help people build their website, learn digital marketing, and help them take it online and teach them how to get customers. I coach you through the whole process. I help you with the whole process so that you can have something that you own. And I'm sure you have some great ideas that you want to start, but you just haven't pushed the button. Now you found this video, you found me. Click the link in my description. I want to help you start your business. I want to help you build your brand. Kickstart it just like I did. Examples of how ownership builds wealth. Owning a business. When you own a business, you make money from customers and you can sell the business for a lot more money later. Just like I said, if I reach 25 mil, sell my business and I walk away. And my business will still be running. I'll still own equity. Somebody else will be taking over as CEO. And I'll be fine. I don't really need I don't really like working. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be chilling. I'll be exercising, going to the gym every day, hooping every day, chilling. I don't need, I don't need much to survive. Okay, owning a house or property, property can increase in value, and you can make money from rent. Right, simple. Investing in stocks. Stocks are part of companies, and they can grow in value, making you more money over time. But my main focus for you, because you're not. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that you're not wealthy. That's why you're watching this video, right? So I want you to focus on owning a business, not stocks, not owning a property just yet. Unless you have the income for that, then go ahead. That's an amazing idea. You should go buy a property and rent it out. It's always a great idea. Investment properties are a great idea. Owning your own home is a great idea. But for you to be able to build that income to own your home, because I'm expecting you're just a regular person, Start a business, sell something, start a product, find a product, find a niche, find a product, build your own brand, start something. Secondly, you can provide a service. Service, like a business is organization of people, it's organization of systems. I want you to understand that creating a system that serves other people, creating a product that serves other people is simple. It's either you create a product that serves or solves somebody problem somebody's problem or you create a system that solves people's problems as well a system can be what you hire cleaners you find a group of cleaners then you be the middleman the business the brand that finds the customers and you bridge that gap some of the most successful businesses just bridge gaps bridge gaps bridge gaps they don't really own anything they just they're the middleman you find a customer you find people that want to do the work put them together and you be the middleman, you make the money, and you have the systems, you have the customers, you have the staff, boom, you have a system, you have the product, you have the customers, boom, you have a system. That's how it works. It's simple. Don't complicate it. Don't complicate anything ever in your life. Just keep it simple. Solve a problem. That's it. The wealth gap. What is a wealth gap? Some people own a lot and others own very little. The more you own, the wealthier you are. The more you own, the wealthier you are. But... You don't even own your time because you spend all your time scrolling and going to work and eating. So you own nothing, not even your time. <laughs> Distribution of wealth. The top 10% of people own 90% of the wealth because they own businesses, houses, and stocks. But they say they but they say this like I don't want you to get discouraged by this statement because you you just might. But there's really no competition because it's just 10%. So one out, of, one out of 10 people start businesses, basically. That's what I'm reading here. One out of 10 people start businesses and stick to it. So nine out of 10 people you see are scared to start businesses or own anything, literally. So 
the fact that what I'm seeing here is there's no competition. So be the competition. Start a business. Passing down wealth. Wealthy families pass on their ownership to their kids, helping them stay wealthy. Exactly. Nine out of ten times, right? Your parents didn't give you shit. They just told you what people told them. Go to school, get a job. They didn't tell you to ever own shit, believe in yourself. They didn't give you shit. They didn't give you a business. They didn't give you anything to get started. And you want to do the same. <laughs> just, oh, I'm gonna take care of myself. I'm gonna eat all the I'm gonna eat all the food and just tell my kids to go to school and and you know school is crap. You know school is not the way to wealth. <laughs> you know school is not the way to wealth. You know school is 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 directly attached to sending you to a nine to five. That's what school is for. School is for nine to fives. School is the path to nine to five. So if you want to send your kids to that, great. If you want to start a business and teach your kids a valuable skill, greater, right? Why you should own things. Owning is better than just working. When you own, when you only work for somebody else, there's a limit to how much money you can make. Exactly. In my business, I've made five figures a month because there's no limit. The more effort I put in, the more I make. The more people I help, the more I make. It's not about how much time I spend. The more, the more bridges I build, the more money flows in my direction. It's so simple, right? But with, with a job, you're at a ceiling and it, the ceiling is time because time you can only spend so much time in one day. There's only 24 hours in one day. And your energy, you can only spend 8 hours, maybe 12 hours if you go overtime. So it is capped. You have an energy cap called time. You can only spend so much time doing the same thing. But you can never you can never put a limit on how much people you can help, you can serve with the business because there's no cap. If you create the system, you put the bridge, you connect the people, it's unlimited flow. It's a funnel, right? They call it a sales funnel. You pour people into the funnel of your system, which is your product or your services. And once those people build rapport with you and they understand you and they know you, they become familiar with you. You can sell them more and 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 more, and more for years till you die and you pass it on to your kids and your kids sell to their kids. Simple. Keep it simple. Always remember, keep it simple. Don't complicate things. Unlimited potential. Owning things like a business or property and keep making money for you. When you die, pass the property to your kids. They keep renting it. When they die, they pass it on to the kids. Keep renting it. It's in your family name. When you buy a house, you own it. You, you're the owner. But we are not taught to own things in school. We're taught to work hard. Work hard. Instead of owning. Owning what? Ideas. Owning your creativities. Owning people's problems. You solve people's problems, you own their problems and you help them because they don't know how to solve it. You have the knowledge, you have the system, you're solving it, right? Long-term benefits. Ownership can provide financial security and growth opportunities over time. I don't need to explain that. You get it. How to start building wealth. Start small. You don't need a lot of money to start. You can start a small business or invest in little stocks like i said i don't want you to focus on stocks i want you to focus on business start a small business bro start a small business sis i say bro in all my videos i started feeling bad i was like i have some women that comment on my videos so i have to start you know saying sis start start a business sis please and funny enough like uh, i meet a lot more women enthusiastic to start businesses than men it's like it's, it's crazy it's crazy <laughs> but yeah start a business sis like don't focus on stocks or houses just yet because you're you're early in the game and you might not have the capital to do that right so start a business and a business can be even like speaking of property and you don't have the capital a business can be a real estate investment business you find people to come together to invest in real estate that's a business you understand so be the be the bridge be the bridge and it doesn't cost much to be the bridge it's all about people it's all about people and their problems solving people's problems that is business 
learn how to solve people's problems with a product or a service. And with the product, it's a product, it's an idea, it's a brand. With the service, it's a system. You create a system. You don't have to do all the work. Create a system of other people that are going to do the work and you be the bridge. Own something. Look for opportunities to own things that can grow in value like a business, like a business, like a business. Grow and expand. As you learn and gain experience, gradually increase your ownership and diversify your assets. That's why I say I want you to start with a business. Start with a business. Own a business. Go to my website, Beast Digital Marketing. Sign up. Reach out to me. Let's build your website. Let's talk about what business you want to start. Let's talk about how you can help people. You help those people. You make money. You take that money. Then you start investing in real estate. You start investing in stocks. That's the process. You have to start with the business. You have to start with the income, with the capital. Where's the money going to come from? It's going, it's going to come from solving people's problems. It's that simple. Conclusion, right? To build wealth, you need to own things like businesses, property, or investments. But I want you to go from businesses to property and investments. Businesses first, property and investments later. Call to action. Think about how you can start owning things instead of just working for somebody else. And you don't have to go far. Like I said, click the link in this description. Reach out to me. Let's get your business started. Let me help you. This is what I do. I bring your ideas to reality. So you don't have to go far away. I started a business. I built my own business. I'm trying to help you build your own business and take it to help other people solve problems. Businesses is all about solving problems. If you need somebody to bounce your idea off of and be like, oh, I, I have this idea for a business, but I don't know if it makes any sense. Reach out to me. Let me help you with that, right? Your journey begins. Remember, building wealth through ownership is a journey. Start small, learn as you go, and keep working towards your financial goals. I saw a lady, just to wrap this up, I saw a lady on TikTok. I was scrolling on TikTok, and I saw this lady. She's a business coach, and she was talking about how she started her business and how a brand is built along the way. It's built along the way. It's not going to be perfect on the first day. It's going to build along the way because you have to start. And once you dive in, you're going to learn a lot about what you're doing along the way. People think, oh, I have to build the perfect logo. I have to build this. I have to build that. No, it's all about building it along the way. Start the idea. Learn the stuff. Fail. Reach out to people like me. Reach out to other people who know more than you. Ask them for help. Tell more people about what you're trying to do. More ideas start to come your way. Stop telling people. Don't ever tell people that don't even have a positive thought in their brain. Some of you, the people around you are your worst enemies. Let me tell you now. The people around you, <laughs> they're your downfall because they're there to tell you that all your ideas suck. And if you listen to them, you will never do anything. So obviously, don't tell any negative person about what you're trying to do but what you need to do is tell the people that you actually inspire you tell people that are around you that think the same way you're trying to think tell the person that you think is wealthy and you look up to and you know they have a business go ask them questions what gave them the confidence tell them about your idea those are the people you should talk to i hope this video helped you in some way i know this video helped you in some way but you need to take action it's all about action watch my other videos that talk about confidence manifesting laws of attraction different things like that those videos will also help you gain confidence and understand things about the world around you and your thoughts and your emotions and how to materialize things into the physical world, right? So have a wonderful day. Peace.